the goose. like my therapy okay welcome to this vlog you guys i am so excited for this weekend vlog i can't even wait because my mom is actually on her way right now driving from albany new york where i'm from where she lives and she has never been to cape cod before i literally could scream i'm so excited i cannot wait for her to get here we're gonna have the best weekend ever and yeah the fact that she's never been to the cape is so exciting i love like sharing things i love experiences i love places i love with the people that i love it's just like so fun we're gonna literally have the best time and give her the best cape cod experience and she's never been to my house she's bringing teddy or golden doodle i can't wait to see him he is like besties with brody we always say it's brody's uncle ted and uncle ted and brody are gonna have so much fun together she's gonna get here probably in a couple hours it's only like a little under a four hour drive which you would think would be longer and everyone like can't believe that she's never been to the cape ever before like i just can't believe it especially since max and i have been together over four years i think i have to do the math yeah over four years you would think she would have been here by now and we every summer we're like oh yeah we got to get her here and then she like doesn't come now she's actually coming she's like okay now i have to come to like see her house so yes and perfect timing you guys a package of the cutest clothes just showed up just in time for this weekend I'm wearing one of the pieces right now i threw it on i can't wait to show you guys so let's go have a little haul moment a little try on haul okay i'm convinced i just found the best lighting in the house you guys look at this lighting with all the windows up here but i just want to shout out the sponsor of this video thank you so much gilly hicks for sponsoring this video i cannot even believe the amount of cute clothes i got at such an affordable price well i can believe because i actually shopped all these pieces on their summer sale which is going through july 1st so make sure if you love any of the pieces i'm going to be showing you guys that you shop their summer sale before they sell out all the pieces i'm going to be showing you guys i'll have linked down below in the description first things first this like windbreaker i feel like i'm just gonna wear non-stop it is the best fit so high quality kind of cropped most things i will say i got a size medium and we have this black tank super soft cozy material and then these black biker shorts i believe some of the pants like yoga pants um and then these biker shorts i got a small just because i like them more like compressive then i got the same tank top but in white the same like really soft stretchy material i love their pieces they're so good for workouts but also if you don't want to wear them working out or at leisure like you could literally wear this with like jean shorts and stuff and then i got gray kind of sweatpants shorts um i realized in the past couple months how much i love sweat shorts i wear sweat shorts every single day i think they're so comfy got this gray hoodie to go with i can't even explain to you guys how soft the inside is like i don't know <laughs> it is really freaking soft and comfy then we had to get the light gray sweats to go with i knew that these are gonna be my new favorite cozies so i had to stock up over here i love the design of these same as the sweatshorts just has like the line going down the front just a little something something this is like when i feel the most me the most cozy okay then we have these black yoga pants which i am obsessed with you guys because i've always wanted a pair that have a slit on the bottom on the side like that and i've never had them and i love them they fit so well these joggers actually blew me away you guys because they look and feel just like a pair i have that is like four times the price i'm not even kidding i need these in every color they're so soft fit so well like the perfect jogger okay then we've got these running shorts these black running shorts are perfection you guys the cut is so flattering and so nice actually insane how affordable these pieces are the perfect high rise the perfect inseam not too long not too short perfect fit like not too loose not too tight breathable so comfortable these are like my everyday i feel like i throw on a pair of black running shorts you can't have enough put on a tank top sweatshirt whatever it may be look at this tank top shocker same style as the black and the white one but in this blue floral color can you tell i have a favorite style i just love again like the cut the fit of them so soft and comfy and this blue floral has to be my favorite and with the white skirt even better look at this outfit new clothes just make me so happy 
then I got this bathing suit. Look at this print, you guys. It's actually reversible as well. The other side is just like a plain orange you could wear on either side. I'm obsessed with this because it's not like a thong string bikini in the back. It's not really skimpy, and I feel like a lot of bathing suits these days are. A lot of the ones I have are, and I can just feel like a little uncomfortable sometimes, especially with family, like with my mom in town, with Max's family. Hopefully we can get out on the boat. Hopefully the weather's nice enough. I'll just feel a lot more comfortable in this, and it's just so cute as well. And same as those gray sweatshorts, I just got them in white. Comfy, cozy, good to go. Last but not least, we have this floral PJ set. The little blue flowers. So Cape Cod, so Coastal Grandmother, and really comfy and stretchy. Without a doubt, these are already my new favorite pajamas that I will be wearing weeks on end. <laughs> so again, all the pieces I showed you guys from Gilly Hicks will be linked down below in the description. Don't forget their summer sale goes through July 1st, and seriously, do not sleep on Gilly Hicks. I got the cutest pieces. Okay, now I'm gonna go get ready for my mom to get here. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. Me and the doggies are the only ones up yet. <laughs> And I just got up with them because both of them are nut balls and they're together. Hot dead. And I'm like, you guys are about to be so noisy. So I just took a little walk with them and stuff. But yeah, like I don't think anyone else is awake yet. And I was like, I'm just gonna get up with the doggies. Sorry, um, I didn't film anything else last night. I was like, you know what? I just wanna like go to dinner and like have a night just like her, me and Max catching up. Yeah, I can insert some pictures we had from Gina's last night, which Gina had for dinner, and it was so could you guys but i was just like like we knew this moment we're just gonna be like blah 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 blah, blah catching up on everything um and then i'll film like all of today and tomorrow with them and it's kind of like gloomy and rainy right now and it said it was supposed to rain like all day and tomorrow on the forecast but it looks like now after one it might clear up and even get sunny and then tomorrow is gonna be sunny now which i'm so happy about because i'm like we need some sunshine moments for my mom who has never been to cape before like can go to the beach and stuff like that you know like she needs the good weather maybe you can go out on the boat but yeah, I'm so obsessed with these new PJs, you guys. Like, so soft and comfy. I'm getting all of you onto these, okay? So, yeah, I'm just gonna hang with the puppy before everyone just gets up. <laughs> probably read my book a little, and then we'll get our day going. We'll probably go on a big dummy way, okay? Get, like, coffee, stuff like that. Then, good morning. Happy Saturday. The goose you're in the back. <laughs> I go, can you be in it? She goes, no. <laughs> um, update. I walked four miles. It was so fun. Walking with someone is always like a thousand times easier than being by yourself. Because we just. Therapy. Yeah, it, it, we just chat the whole time. while you're walking. Yep. That's what Christina and I do. I love it. Yeah, it was great. A little rainy, so I'm a little wet, but that's okay. And the doggy had so much fun. Did you, Ted? Did you miss me? Guys, look at Teddy got groomed recently. He has this puppy cut. And his ears, I think, look so cute when they're like shorter like that. Huh. <laughs> We're about to go to one of our favorite coffee places, bring my mom, and she's gonna love it. Is that a Diet Coke? Oh no, it's a seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> like he freaking me a coffee with that cup. Daddy, get him! <laughs> it's a beer. <laughs> oh, you tired too. Woo! Play, play, play. <laughs> Ooh, of course. I can't wait for my mommy to try her first sip. She's gonna love. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. You're gonna love, we love their bacon, egg, and cheese here. Can't wait to see your first reaction. What do you think? She's trying my. Isn't it so good? <laughs> Morning. Well, actually, afternoon now. And, uh. Did it. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Did it. We had the longest day of our lives yesterday. I barely filmed or did like anything, but it was so much fun. To quote my mother, remember what she said? Uh, no, I don't. You don't? That was the best Kim Cut day ever. She said, oh. This is the best day ever. Uh, <laughs> 
because we just had like the most fun filled day. We went to so many different bars and restaurants and stuff, met so many great people, met some neighbors, friends, stuff like that. And now it's such a nice and sunny day. We got so lucky with this weekend because it was supposed to like rain all weekend, but it's so nice. And got our bathing suits on, put a sweater in case it's cold in the boat. We're gonna go out on the boat and probably pick up sandwiches and maybe coffee, maybe a donut. Yeah, I need all of the above. <laughs> Let's go. It is Tuesday now and the last you probably saw was Sunday when we went out on the boat and I actually didn't film yesterday at all I don't think um but my mom stayed through yesterday and was able to like work from home at our apartment which was nice and you can probably tell I feel like I like look like I was crying and normally whenever I start talking and like having a real moment I'm like you know I'm gonna try not to cry and this time I feel like I just know that I'm going to or maybe I won't because I have like no tears left to cry I've just been having like the most emotional day and I just I don't know I feel like I have so many feelings and thoughts and I just wanted to like be real instead of like not filming and not showing anything at all and my first feeling and thought is I'm just like upset and I feel like I actually did have like such a good weekend with my mom and I feel like I didn't film at all and I just like feel like a failure and like I like let you guys down and I filmed like five minutes with her and we actually did have like such good times but then also whenever I'm like with friends and family I just want to like be in the moment and we're like eating our oysters and like doing our thing you know especially um Saturday we had like the best day we went to the Pearl we went to Land Ho we went to the Beachcomber we did all the things on to one of my favorite restaurants got drinks like we had the funnest day but I just wanted to be honest and have like an honest life update moment because I don't know I feel like I've been seeing this with like so much of my friends and family lately and I feel like this is true for me as well like it's everywhere where people like things look so nice and like I'm don't get me wrong I'm in like such a happy moment of my life personally and like buying like a dream home in like a Cape Cod summer like we're having the best time but also in a way it kind of feels like a lot of pressure to have the best summer and have the best time and I, I don't know like that's just like pressure that I feel like that I put on myself you know but I just want to say like I feel like a lot of times things look so shiny and beautiful from the outside and like you just never know what's going on deep down and I want to be clear that I'm okay, like I'm okay, <laughs> like me personally, but I just feel like I have been feeling really heavy and like really emotionally drained and exhausted by like a lot of stuff that's been going on in my life like personally just like behind the camera like yeah with family and friends and stuff like I know I'm being really big but on purpose because it's not really like to do with me but there's just like a lot going on so I want it to be real and like there's always stuff going on behind the scenes that you don't know like I just this is a good reminder that if there's people that if it's me god forbid that you look up to so much on Instagram or YouTube and think like they have such a perfect life like we all have people like that that we follow and it's like I'm sure we couldn't even believe like what goes on behind the scenes like no one's life is like perfect and like everyone has struggles and like hard times and stuff I feel so cliche like saying that right now but I don't know I was like I just need to like be real for a second because a part of it was like I just want to like be at the moment and like try to have fun with my mom like despite things going on in life and we did but then I'm also like I just want to like fully be here like I feel like I, I barely even have pictures with her like I have a picture of like her and Max with their oyster shot you know um but what was I gonna say I don't even know where I was going. The other half was like, I'm not in the mood to film. That's what I was going to say. When I'm feeling like really heavy and weighed down and like emotionally like exhausted and stuff. And I don't want to like be sad and like fake it. But then I don't want to like not be real. You know what I mean? So we're just having an honest moment. Sorry. And I feel like today, especially I've been like so emotional and so like nothing like crazy big. Oh my gosh, there's people getting in the car next to me. I, <laughs> I don't even have the energy anymore. Sorry, I'm talking to the camera crying. Oh, like today in specific I just was feeling so overwhelmed by everything and like I was literally just got off the phone with Max and I was like sorry I've been like probably a nightmare today I just feel like so not okay and we were supposed to like come on a coffee date and I was like I'm really sorry I feel like I just like need a moment to myself I feel like I'm gonna explode like I just feel like really overwhelmed and that's just my personality but it's just like so many little things all happening at once and I'm like 
I need to like go for a drive and take a deep breath and maybe try to update you guys. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm parked in a coffee shop parking lot and just needed to let it out. This is like my therapy, okay? <laughs> because it's all like bottled in. So that's what's happening. And I'm, and yeah, now I'm feeling like I'm ruining the end of this weekend vlog because I did have such a special time with my mom and it was her first time on the Cape and she was just calling yesterday on her way home and was already like, I'm having post Cape blues. I literally had one of like the best weekends of my life. And so there's like, yeah, I'm just feeling really mixed emotions. And of course I'm like missing her already and there's just like so many highs with the lows and like, yeah, it was really special to have such a good time with her and she loved it so much and for, to be able to see my home and stuff, I knew it would feel more real um, when she came and she's just like so proud of me and stuff. So that's like a whole other reason to be emotional. You can see why I needed this drive and I needed this moment and I hope these people aren't in my video. <laughs> you can see me like swapping. Also, you can probably, I'm not even in my car. That's a whole other thing. I can't even, I can't even get, like I said, a lot of little things all up the and so I need to like get it together a hot sec. Um, because their coffee is my favorite and it's gonna make me feel better. <laughs> it's like the little things. And I literally wanted to bring Brody with me and then I was just like having a freak out. Max was like, I'm gonna take him on a walk, like it's fine. And now I feel guilty and I should have brought him here because I was like, I wanna give him a pup cup. Maybe Max will get him a pup cup because that was another little thing. <laughs> Last night we had like the worst day ever with him. This is probably why I'm so emotional today. Like, let's be real, I barely slept because we had the biggest thunderstorm last night and Brody's like recently been so scared of thunderstorms, but to the point where I know I sound like so dramatic, but it's because I'm just like emotional today. I need to take a deep breath, but like, if you guys have animals that are like really scared of fireworks or thunderstorms, it just, I feel so horrible and I can't sleep because it's like all consuming because he's like shaking and so stressed and like panting and anxious and it was like horrible and this has only happened one time before actually with a thunderstorm so now I'm at the point where like okay I need to go to his vet like immediately and get like prescription medicine. I actually posted on my story, I haven't even been on my phone because it's been a day but I need to look, I have saw so many DMs coming in of people's recommendations with their dogs and I even saw on Amazon like thunder vests or something so if you have an animal that's scared of like fireworks or thunder let me know i think it actually started with fireworks last fourth of july it like scarred him he was shaking he was so scared and i think since then like loud noises like thunderstorm probably kind of sounds like fireworks so he just gets like so anxious can't settle down is panting is shaking like his whole body's convulsing and it was just like horrible so yeah i need to just like do everything I can for that situation because I feel so affected by him too and he's like my everything so that's like another thing but yeah if you have like recommendations for that I'm gonna shut up and go get coffee right now and I really hope the fun parts of this vlog that started off so well are not overshadowed by the cloud over my head today okay you guys I can't make this up in the less than 10 minutes we spoke <laughs> outside the coffee shop and I was just like having a moment. Um, yeah, I went up and they had just closed and I just missed the cutoff and I was like saying to the girl, she's like, sorry, we literally just closed. You missed it by like two minutes. And I was like, yeah, I was just sitting in the parking lot. So that's my fault. <laughs> the cherry on top of today. It's okay, I just drove back home. I'm just gonna make one at home and I need to like, clearly take a deep breath and meditate and go on a walk and stuff so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> again i'm okay i just especially any of you empaths out there know that like if any friends or family are like going through a hard time or stuff is going on you feel it so heavily and it feels like kind of debilitating so that's the situation but i really hope this end here <laughs> i hope maybe actually i don't want any of you to relate to this because i want everything to be sunshine and rainbows for you i don't want any of you to go through hard times although i know that's not reality so maybe you can relate hopefully the beginning of this video were shadowed the sadness at the end yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna end off this here i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video